to, like, na kun mate? Okay, then no. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> mate, <laughs> that's fine. I traveled halfway across the world to this vibrant and bustling country with insane traffic to meet with the people who make this place what it is. All right, testing, assalamualaikum, we're in Pakistan. I'm on a mission to know more about our orphan sponsorship projects. On this episode, I'm going to hear the stories, dreams, and accomplishments of the orphans and widows that are supported by Islamic Relief. And I talked in my speech. Everybody okay, what do you it's uh, shocking that like five-year-olds ride motorbikes here. They grow up before their age. Ah, <laughs> so now, Yeah. So this area has been described as a red zone. It's mostly made out of migrants that have come from the neighboring province. It's actually really unhygienic. A lot of the people that live here are either drug addicts and they're also at risk for prostitution. There's no governance, there's no enforcement of policies and laws. Kids are forced to work at a really early age. In this area alone we have about 250 sponsored orphans and that gives them the opportunity to go to school, earn an education and then support their families in that way. First, we're heading to meet an orphan family that was sponsored by Islamic Relief. Hi. This right here is what you would call the kalluf, an extreme version of being formal, practiced by Pakistanis around the world. Most orphan families consist of widows who are left in difficult situations after their husbands pass away. Friends, family, and community turn away from them, giving them no support, leaving them all alone in their struggle to support their children. I still wanted to see how else we're making sure to do everything we can for these families. So next, we're headed to a workshop with faith leaders to educate mothers about the ways they can protect their children. Bachungi safety, bachungi father, Maria Abni Zimadari. Japtak Bacha, Badani Ojata, Kela Bacheku, Kahibina Beje, Division Bina Beje, Kisiki Sat Bibina Beje, Bar Bazar Mibina Beje, Rathi, Magra Kibadi, Bache Barnaho, Activision Janet, Hojai, Hodle Karai. Unfortunately, Pakistan has a problem child abduction. And in this area, it's been on the rise. About 3,500 cases of child kidnapping were reported in 2017 alone. And that number is only rising. There have been many more reports of child kidnappings over the past year. So we decided to do something about it. The idea of this project was for Islamic Relief to get faith leaders involved in the advocacy of child protection. I still wanted to see the full extent of our work in this. So I'm going to a school which we've partnered up with to educate the children about the dangers they face. He's talking to these fifth graders about the importance of taking care of themselves and being careful about who they interact with. And it's so essential that they're being taught this in a school, in a safe environment. So in this referral mechanism, mm -hmm. we will be having police representatives, we will be have civic, civil society representatives. Mm -hmm. uh, Islamic Relief is seeing uh, this project as a long-term initiative mm -hmm. for a network which will be providing a safer environment for children at Islamabad and Rawalpindi level. In a world where children are vulnerable, it's our responsibility to educate and empower them in the best ways to protect themselves. It's a step to preserve their childhood and support their dreams. Wait, 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 wait. Tell it now, but oh. Come on. Ah, tell it now. It's so cute. You just the road. Yeah. It's like I'm fighting for my life. 
Now, we're headed to meet some of the orphans who have been supported by the program and take a little look into their lives. <laughs> Okay, then no. Never mind. <laughs> You're riding at them, that's fine. It's so nice to see that they're um, they're still smiling and they're so happy and they're so full of joy. It's so heartwarming because you know the story that they've been through despite their traumatic childhood. They can still remain hopeful and it's all because they get to go to school and they get to act like kids as they, as they should be. At the end of the day, I realized one thing. We have this incredible opportunity to help kids be kids. There's no way we can replace the role of a parent, but we can make their lives a little bit brighter. They know they're not in the best circumstances, but they still create joy with the little bit that we can give. And that really makes all the difference. I feel like I'm in an action movie where, you know, in the they're set car chase scenes and they're going through like the tiny alleys and like on the fourth day. Yeah. Islamically fuses. That's amazing. In two months, I realized that it's a blessing for the children. Thank you. 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 Thank you.